Hey guys, welcome to my new video of the daily mix-up. Um, I'm glad to see you back. Uh, first, I want to just say thank you to Chris Combs. He is the creator over at DIY Vapor. He did give me a lot of the ideas for this new series, such as um, creating a laid-back experience, not worrying about all the fancy editing, and to try out non-tested, you know, non tried and true mixes and uh, I just really want to thank him for that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so so you can go check him out he's a really good guy really down-to-earth he's not pretentious and that's something that you really have trouble finding nowadays so the first thing I want to mix up today is a blueberry muffin under a blueberry muffin vape it's between that and a sear a cereal vape but not like your average cereal vape like a Kellogg's type cereal like a special K with strawberries or something so something completely different so that's what I kinda want to get at today and today I'm vaping on the simple mod and I have the troll 2 on it very cool mod felt like a mech mod today Very good stuff. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this into two different camera angles today because I'm trying it with my phone and it's giving me a five minute time limit and that's a very low time limit to be able to do this and being in a mix and going back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on the outside camera because that way it'll give me a longer time limit and I won't have to worry about that. Actually, I don't even think it gives you a time limit. But since I'm using the back and front cameras, I guess it's protecting the camera from overheating or something. So I'm going to do a cut now and it's going to cut straight to the scale. Okay, so we are ready to go. I'm going to get some gloves on. Again, these really tight ass gloves. So, I want to thank you all for the positive feedback that I've gotten from the new series. I hope you guys are going to continue to enjoy it. Although, today's video is going to be a quick one. Some will be longer. I did receive a comment uh, from actually Blind Reviews. He's also another YouTuber. He does some videos on his channel. Um, he said that he he didn't really like the longer videos, but... I guess I'm going to get a wide range of people, some who like the longer ones, some who like the shorter ones, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. I might do some longer ones and then some shorter ones. But it also depends on the day and what we're having to do, because right now, the juices we make now are going to have to steep, so I'm not going to be trying them in the series yet, maybe until next week, so I mean, maybe I could cut shorter ones now, but... In the future, they're going to probably be a little longer, but that's some logistics. We'll see what goes on from there. Okay, so I want to do a muffin. So the first one I think I'm going to, ingredient I'm going to use is Flavora Blueberry Muffin. This is the only flavor, uh, Flavora flavor I have just because of how expensive they are. It's hard for me to get up the nerve to actually buy them yeah it smells really good and this mix by the way I'm not gonna say it's a clone um, but I'm gonna say it's an inspiration uh, it's an inspiration off of this juice I'm not gonna try to clone it one to one but I'm gonna make it how I think I'd like it because it kinda spawns some ideas it's the steam factory muff cake so, I'm going to use Flavora Blueberry Muffin. Then, I'm going to use Capella Harvest Berry. I love this phone to film on. This It has uh, dual pixels, so see how fast it focuses. You ready? Of course, it didn't do it that time. Let me do it again. Okay. Alright, I know that's just goofing off, but, okay, so let me just smell it. I like to smell every flavor before I put it in, 
I mean, some of them I know what they smell like, but it gives you a good idea of how you want to bend the flavors to work for you. Next one I'm using is kind of different, a different take on how people would go about cake. I'm going to use some, where is it? Here we go. Use some flavor art known as cake. I, I think when I smelled that, I could smell it in it. And again, it's not going to be a straight clone. That's not what I'm going for. But I kind of can smell that flavor in it. I mean, maybe you could consider it a clone. But that's what, what I'm trying to do. Maybe I could try harder some other time. Okay, so. Flavor art known as cake. And also... While we're at it, of course, we got to throw some Flavor Art Meringue. Flavor Art Meringue is definitely among one of my favorite flavors. Of course, because I'm a cereal person. Yeah, let's throw some of that in there. Now, we still got to build up some more of that cakey note. So, I'm going to do... Where is it? I'm not going to have the bottle for this. Well, I do have the bottle, but... I put it in a smaller bottle because I get a large amount of this, but I'm going to put some Flavor West Yellow Cake. Yeah. See? I just have it in a little small bottle. I already know what that smells like. And then... How about some... TFA? Where are you? There you are. TFA Vanilla Cupcake. So I think... I think that'll be good for the cake. So we got the... Known as cake. Cupcake. And blueberry muffin. And a meringue. Alright, so... I'm trying to decide I'm gonna have a vape. I don't know if I said it already, but I'm vaping on the simple mod with the troll RDA. Just really cool. I felt like a mech mod today. And I really like I kind of like how they're just like a stick and they're strong and really powerful. I really like them. Alright, so I'm trying to think if I want a cream or something along those lines. Um, let me try it again. I know I said it wasn't a clone, but... Yep. I'm going to break out the custard. I'm going to do a little bit of custard. But today, unlike yesterday, we are going to use Capella's Vanilla Custard. Again, it's another one I have in a bottle like this because I buy big bottles. I mean, I could pull all of them down, but you guys get the... You guys know what it is. Well, actually... If you guys really want to see it, here's a Wizard Labs version. Capella Vanilla Custard. There you go. Alright. So we got the Vanilla Custard. Now do we want any more creams or marshmallow? I don't think so. Hmm. Do taste it. There is a little bit of lemon there. I can taste it. Oh, yes, I know. Okay, can't believe I almost forgot this one. Where are, the, where are you? We're going to use... Where are you? I think that's it. There we go. 
Flavor West cake batter dip. Guys, excellent, excellent flavor. I have to smell this one. This one, oh, it's so good. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know if we're going to take one out now. Actually, you know what? We're going to layer it. Layer, layer, layer. Maybe, you know, no, we'll keep that in. Okay, so. The first ingredient. Vanilla cupcake. I will put this on ELR and I will link it like all the other ones. So, we're going to do muffin. I'm going to call it, we're going to call it muffin top. <laughs> I know, I know. Bad flavor. We're going to do 30 milliliters at 3, Nick. And we're going to do vanilla cupcake. Okay, so... Vanilla Cupcake from TFA, we're going to do that at 2. We're going to do that at 2. So Vanilla Cupcake is out of the way. Next is Flavor Art known as Cake. Actually, we're going to do Vanilla Cupcake at 1. And we're going to do Nona's Cake at 3. No. We're going to do Nona's Cake at 2. I'm sorry, I know I keep going back and forth. Okay. Flavor West Cake Batter Dip. This one isn't so strong. Cake. Batter dip. We're going to do cake batter dip at three. Meringue. We're just trying to get like that sugary coating. Flavor art. We're going to do that at one percent. Flavora Blueberry Muffin. Flavora Blueberry Muffin. We're going to do that at 3. And Flavor West Yellow Cake. We're going to do that at 1. I'm just typing it in the calculator. Okay. Vanilla custard. We're going to do that at 2. Better yet, no, we're going to do vanilla custard at 1 as well. I mean, when we revisit it, we can always change it. And then Harvest Berry. Harvest Berry is another must-have. I got a big bottle that I refill with this. That one is so good. If you love mixed berries, you're going to love that one. That's part of my all-day vape. Which, once I hit 500 subscribers, I think I'm going to release my all-day vape to you guys. So, uh, share these videos. Tell people to subscribe. Once I get to 500, I'm going to release that. It's a very good, very good mix. Okay, so... Harvest Berry. This one is definitely more noticeable. Or at least it's my take on it. And I want to make the Harvest Berry more noticeable. I love that flavor. Yeah. 
Okay, so harvest berry. We're going to do that one at three. Okay, so let me total everything. Oh, and we need sweetener. I'm going to do sweetener at 2%. I love sweet juices. I know the drawbacks. That's just how I like to vape. If you see my other videos, you already know. Um, but, of course, if you're following along with this, you don't have to add as much sweetener or you don't have to add any at all. Maybe even substitute it for either Flavor Art Pear or Ethyl Maltol or Marshmallow. Those are all different, uh, you know, substitutes to get your juices sweeter. I can definitely go over that in another video sometime as well. Okay, so I'm going to do this Max VG. Of course. Now I'm going to calculate it. So, I had to do it on here because I'm not on my computer right now, but I'm it's the e-liquid calculator. So what I'm going to do is I will enter this on to ELR and we can mix it up there. And we're already pretty high up in time, more time than I want to take. So, we're just going to make this mix today and then tomorrow well, we'll see. We'll put it in the comments uh, if you see this video before, you know, tomorrow evening. Just put it in the comments what you think I should do. If you think I should do a cereal like uh, like a Special K cereal with, like, strawberries or, or put what you think I should try to make. What What's something that will interest you? So let's get this going. So today I'm using the LB501. Oops. Knock some stuff over. Alright, so today I'm using the LB501. Because I got a comment about that too. Subscriber was wondering why I wasn't using this one. Because I was at my desk and today I'm at my mixing table. Uh, so that's why I wasn't using it. But today I am. I'm going to use the beaker and I'm going to use the cool mixer. That's my preferred method just because it's a lot fun. More fun. If you are new to mixing, I have plenty of how-to videos on my channel to show you how to do it. Uh, so I don't really go into every single little thing. I just mix, but you can check out those videos. But today I'm obviously doing it by weight using a beaker. And if you didn't already know, have a vape with you. Don't have your vape somewhere else. You don't want to vape while you're mixing. Okay, so the first ingredient we're doing is uh, TFA Vanilla Cupcake, and that's in at 0.34 grams. Now, this calculator is a little wonky. It, it differs a little bit from ELR, so don't be worried if you see that. I'm thinking about actually not using this calculator anymore, but for this video, I am. So this is TFA Vanilla Cupcake, and it's going to be at 0.34 grams. Alright, now remember the thing with this too is this uh, scale sometimes is slower than some other scales like my pocket scale. So it takes time to catch up. Also the thing with this scale is that uh, anything like wind, it not being on a level surface, anything like that will throw off this scale. It's very sensitive as like most scales because if it's doing to a hundredth of a gram, it has to be very sensitive to be able to pick up on that. Alright, so the next ingredient is Nona's Cake, and that's in that 0.68. So, Nona's Cake. Shake your flavors, always. I'm going to go in at 0.68. There we go. 0.68. Tear that out. Followed by cake batter dip. It's at 1.02. This flavoring is awesome, guys. You gotta get this stuff. Well, of course, you don't have to, but I would strongly advise it if you like bakeries. 
stuff is just awesome. Okay, the next ingredient is flavor art meringue. And that's in at 0.34 grams. There we go. 0.34 grams. Let me tear that out. Next is blueberry muffin at 1.02. Now, of course, this is the flavor one. Be sparingly on it. It's expensive. I know, I keep going on about that, but to me, it's expensive. I'm not rich. I doubt a lot of you are, too, with our economy. But that's all I'm going to go in about political stuff. So, one, two. See how it takes some time to catch up. That's why you want to kind of do a little bit. See where it is, and then let it catch up. I know it's not exactly what I thought when I was getting it. I thought it was going to be like this really fast scale, but it didn't turn out that way. It's still a great scale, don't get me wrong, but you just got to be patient. All right, next is yellow cake, and that Flavor West yellow cake, and that's in at 0.34 grams as well. Can't wait to try this one. That's the, that's the biggest thing I hate. The whole waiting game. All right, yellow cake is in. Vape break. All right. So I've got the yellow cake. Now it is vanilla custard. So, Capella Vanilla Custard V1 is what we're using here. Use what you got. Um, I haven't used V2, but I use TFAs. I've used Flavor West. Flavor West is kind of like just without the vanilla. But, do whatever works for you. So, 0.34. I mean, this is the trialing stage. This is where we're trying some things out, seeing what sticks, and... We're going to, in the coming weeks, we're going to take apart these recipes and figure what we want to do with them. If we want to add more of one ingredient or take some out. Okay, we'll show you the whole process of developing a recipe. Um, next is Harvest Berry. Again, excellent flavor. I keep saying it. Buy it. Just buy it. So, Harvest Berry. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Uh, 1.02 grams. Got to fill this bottle soon. Oh, okay. Harvest berries in. Last but not least is I'm using TFA sweetener. I know it says vape wild. It's just the bottle. I just refill it because it already has a label saying sweetener, so it's easily. So this is 0.68. See that's how I know this is a little bit different than ELR because 2% and the 30 ml on ELR is 0.60. And this one is 0.68. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I think the app's bad, but that kind of sucks because I did, in fact, pay for it. So maybe I should say something to the, to the developer. But that's another issue for another day. But this will go on ELR, so don't worry. Now, it's time for the nicotine. I am doing the nick at uh, 3 milligrams. So the nick is going to be 
0.93. Make sure you shake your nicotine very well. Take all the safety precaution. Wear gloves. Make sure you don't get it on your skin. Just be very careful. This stuff is serious. You want to lock this away from children. I know sometimes if you watch my videos a lot, that gets very repetitive. And you probably already know. But for the select few new people who are watching, they need to hear that. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I'm actually, you know, I actually care. You know? Unlike some other people. Okay. So. Let's do point nine three. Try and be as accurate as possible with this nicotine. Alright. So the nicotine is in. Now, what I like about using this beaker, you could measure the rest of the VG out by weight. But if you have a beaker and you mix your stuff with the frother, beakers will have, you know, measurement lines on it. So this says 30 milligrams right there. I'm just going to fill it up with VG to the 30 milligram mark because I'm doing a max VG. Now, if you're trying to hit a certain target like 70, 30 or 60, 40, then you're going to have to weigh it out, measure it. But this is how I do it. How you do it might be different. It's not necessarily wrong. It's just the way you do it. The end result stays the same. You get some tasty e liquid. I think that's about right. Let's just do a couple drops. Okay. So, all the ingredients are in. Now, here comes the fun part. I'm actually going to push the scale up a little bit just to give myself a little bit of room. See if I can do this so you can see it. So this I got from Liquid Barn. It works pretty good, but higher VG, if you notice, it slows down. But what you do with these milk frothers is you stay up to high like that, and it will circulate all the way through. It's kind of tough doing this behind a camera. Just mix it very well till you get like a milky substance. And then you're pretty good. Alright. I would say we're pretty good there. So let me get the bottle. Got these bottles off Amazon. I think it was like eight bucks for 50. It was a really good deal. I think. Don't quote me on that one. Maybe I can get some links for that. But it's not too bad. So I'm going to fill this in the bottle and put a label on it. We're calling this Muffin Top. So if you want to check it out on ELR and follow along and mix this with me, please do that. Check it out on ELR. Also, uh, please subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out. It really helps the channel grow, and it means a lot. And put your comment in the comment section. Like, let me know if there's a certain kind of mix you want me to try out. Like, if you want me to try that cereal vape tomorrow, or if you want me to do something else. 
I appreciate all the feedback you guys are giving me. And also, check out DIY Vapor. He's a really good mixer. He's a really nice guy. He's straight down to earth. It's no nonsense videos over there. Uh, he has inspired me to do some things a little bit differently on this channel, such as make this series like a more laid back kind of video. Therefore, I could pump out more videos and help bring you guys the content that you guys deserve. So, uh, I'm sorry that I had to rush this one a little bit, but I do appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. So thank you for watching and have a great day.